Hello everybody, today I'm very 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 excited because I have just bought some unicorn brushes. Very happy. I have been waiting for these for about two or three weeks and I love them. Look how pretty they are. Oh my god, it's like the heavens have descended on my face. I'm gonna do a lot of close-ups of these brushes, so don't you worry, this isn't gonna be the only shot you're gonna see of these. They are beautiful, they have a white handle, which is the unicorn horn. It's so cool, like, if I put this up against my head, it looks like I've got a unicorn horn, I'm so excited. I've got a kind of like, it looks like a purpley tint, it's not properly white. They are really, really pretty. And the brushes are rainbow coloured, they have purple green blue pink lots of different colors and i love them they're just so nice like if you look at the tip of it it looks really speckly and it looks really pretty and i got five of these i bought these from sugar and cotton the website where you can buy lots of different things but i brush my hand across and it feels really nice it's not like a really you know those plasticky kind of brushes that are really bad quality it's definitely not those so these are very lovely and i love them and I paid £25 for these. Originally they were about, hmm, I think they were about, it said like £70 and I was like, wow, actually they were, they were 70 American dollars, but obviously like be a bit cheaper for me. But yeah, so basically I paid £25 for these roughly, about £22. And I saw them on the Instagram advert and I was like, I need those. I'm literally gonna splurge out and I thought 2017 is gonna be the year that I'm not gonna spend lots of money on things I don't need. But I thought, I actually really wanna get these. Like I've always wanted to buy something that I just kind of like you don't need, but you just kind of want and it just feels good. It just feels good. I've got five different brushes and I'm deliberately putting my hand behind because I have a very white wall and you cannot see them. <laughs> I got in the pack, we got a eyeshadow brush. We have a contouring brush. So a brush so it is kind of slanted we have a stippling brush so it is very flat we also have a smaller stippling brush it's kind of thinner and it's not as like thick and wide and then we also have a blush brush which I may be using for my contour and highlight because then I can be like oh cool. but it's quite big so what I might do is I'll probably use the contour brush and that will kind of like accent the cheeks why don't I use it on my side on oh, my eyes nice Blue and huge. So what I'm gonna do is I've already put my foundation powder and my eyebrows on, <laughs> my eyebrows on, and I'm going to be doing a makeup look with these brushes. I'm just gonna do a nice simple makeup look, nothing fancy, but it's more about the brushes, and I'm just gonna show you how good these are or not good. We're gonna try them out. I've never actually bought anything like this before, so I've always gone with real techniques brushes. So we're just gonna go with it and let's go. Let's see how it goes. Woo! <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my first brush which is the eyeshadow brush so it's quite a small one. I'm going to use my Tarte in Bloom palette which is my favourite palette that I've got in my collection. It is so nice and we are going to... Hallelujah! Okay what we're going to do is I'm actually going to use the eyeshadow brush. Let's try it with a for a base actually. Let's try it as a base brush. I'm going to be using white colour yeah and we're going to just put it in there. Wow it's actually picking up quite a lot of Product. I'm just going to pack that on. Wow, this is actually really good. Oh my god, this is actually really good. Right, let's try a lighter brown. We're going to use Jet Setter, which is this one here. Plop that in there, tap, tap, tap. And then just go on the corner and on my crease. This actually works really well as a base eyeshadow brush and a crease brush, which I'm actually really surprised at. So, so far, I'm pretty happy at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the colour Rocker, which is the third one here. I'm just going to go into the corner again. I might actually make it a little bit more glittery though, because it is looking a bit plain and boring right now. I'm going to be using Flower Child and just putting that on my base again. Um, I'm going to be using Funny Girl and then putting that on the corner of my eyelid. This eyeshadow brush is actually so good. I'm actually going to put that on the whole of my eyelid because that actually looks really pretty. Very subtle, I'm not going for a full on look, but the activist, which is this darker colour, and I'm going to put that in the crease. So we're gonna go full on dark, and we're gonna just <laughs> tap that off. I'm gonna go in the inner corner again. Blend it out. I actually don't have another eyeshadow brush, which is really poo-poo. So I'm gonna be using my base shadow brush from Real Techniques and just blending that out, which isn't really working. <laughs> I just grab my trusty deluxe crease brush and then that's going to just blend that out because it's a nice fluffy brush make that all fluffy and nice and blended so this is the eye look that's how it looks on the eyeballs we are going to use what one do i show you this one which is the 
angled one. By the way, I know my neck does not match my face. It's because I'm pale and my face is darker than my neck. To add a bit of contour, so we're gonna use my Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. Doobie 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 doo. It actually picks up a hell of a lot of product. Look at that, guys. Wow. So far, I'm recommending these. <laughs> I'm just going to see how well it blends into my skin. That's blended really nicely actually. I'm going to go over this with the fluffy brush so I can just blend this out a little bit more. And then we're just going to go in with this brush and I'm just going to blend it out. It hasn't got any product on it or anything. I'm just going to just dust it over my face just to blend that out a little bit more. And then we're going to use the contour brush again. Actually what I might do is because that's a bit dirty I'm going to use this one. Which is the sort of stippling brush but it's like thinner so it's a little bit more not as dense. <laughs> a little bit more not as dense that doesn't make any sense we're going to be using the candlelight glow from Too Faced to swirl that around in there okay this one is not picking up like hardly any product it was looking promising I think you can see it I'm not actually that pleased with this highlight I don't think it's very strong I like quite a strong highlight I think if I'm gonna put something on my face you might as well be able to see it all right I'm just gonna go on the other side now it looks really intense. All right, let me move my face. So can you see it here if I move my head? Oh, so it's there. It's definitely there. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight on my Cupid's bow or whatever it's called. But I'm actually really happy with this application. Like, guys, this is amazing. These brushes are so good. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some, actually I'll pass some lipstick in a minute. I think that's it actually for the brushes. Like, for powder, I think this will be really good as well. And I've already put on some powder, but I'm going to get some powder and we're going to test it out as well, just so you guys can see if it's good or not. I'm going to be using my Stay Matte Powder, go in with this brush, because the thing is I wasn't going to use powder because I don't really use it. Like I use powder, but I don't really use a brush to apply it. I use like a compact, you know those like, you pat them on your face. I can't remember what they're called, but yeah. So we're just going to see how well this goes. Feels really nice. Doesn't feel cakey at all, actually. The only one I didn't use is this brush, but I use a blending sponge for my application of my foundation so I reckon this would be quite good for foundation and because I've already got my foundation on my face what I'm going to do is I will try it out I'm going to just do it on my hand and see if it kind of blends it in I'm just going to use my L'Oreal True Match foundation I'm going to plop a tiny bit on my hand I'm going to grab my brush and we're just going to grab that and just going to pat it in and see if it goes on to my hand wow <laughs> that actually has blended it all in really nicely as well that actually looks really good i'm just gonna finish the rest of my look and then i'll be back i'm just gonna use the huge 03 kate rimmel london lippy lippy matey look at my nails as well i've got unicorn nails they're holographic they're so cool they're pink and they're holographic like what is more to like I don't know. So thank you for watching guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to go buy these unicorn brushes I will link the link down below so you guys can go and buy them. They are honestly so good. They were very good. You didn't have to hardly use any blending and I'm very happy with it. So if you guys want to go get these unicorn brushes and you like unicorns and you like makeup then get these brushes. They are so amazing. You get five for 25 euro, uh, you're saying euros, dollars, 25 dollars and I love them, they are so pretty, and I flip in, they're just so nice, like wow. Get them, they're really cool, and uh, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it, and if you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Vicky Wishes, and I do videos like this, I do reviews, I do beauty videos, lifestyle videos, anything that you can imagine, and if you ever want a particular video, please comment down below and give me a suggestion. So, and also please subscribe. The link will be at the end of this video and it will also be down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys, woo! And also if you like unicorns, please like, please like this video. Bye! I have an itchy face. I have an itchy face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Seem to stop breathing every time I do eyeliner. I'm just like, don't budget. <laughs>